Hello everyone, welcome to the summer 2022 section of LTech 782. I'm excited to have you and I'm happy to report that we have a nice small group this semester. Now, all of you have taken courses with me in the past, so you should be more or less familiar with my approach to online classes. That said, this particular class is online and asynchronous, so I just wanted to go over a few basic things to make sure we're all on the same page. So let's start out by talking about the weekly schedule. As mentioned in the pre-course announcement, this course will run on a Wednesday to Tuesday schedule. That means each week will begin on Wednesday morning, usually around 9 a.m., and end on Tuesdays around noon. Now, within a given week, it is important to understand there will be multiple deadlines. Typically, critical reflections will be due on Sundays at 11.55 a.m., and then 48 hours later, the peer reviews will be due on Tuesdays at 11.55 a.m. That's the general pattern for the first few weeks, and I'll be sure to alert you to any upcoming changes. Now, let's talk about the peer review process. Because this is a small class with an odd number of students, I created a randomly generated peer review round robin chart. You can see it here. This chart tells you who you should peer review each week. You read this chart clockwise, so everyone will review the two students who come after their name in the cycle. For example, Samantha will review work submitted by Mike and Suzanne, whereas Mike will review work submitted by Suzanne and Rebecca. In this way, everyone in the class will produce two peer reviews while simultaneously receiving peer reviews from two different classmates. Hope that makes sense. Next up, I wanted to mention our main textbook for this semester, which is the second edition of McKenney and Reeves Conducting Educational Design Research. I'll be providing chapters to this book each week, but do know it is available digitally through Hamilton Library, so feel free to read ahead. The other major source of readings will be my ever-growing list of DBR resources. This is linked in Canvas and contains a variety of resources, including websites and videos, methodological articles, and research articles. This is a great resource that I will continue to update as we all find additional DBR sources. Finally, I wanted to touch upon one of the main outputs of this course, which will be a written DBR proposal. The purpose of the proposal is to advance a DBR study applicable to your domain of interest. In terms of length, the proposal is not very long. It's between 1,500 and 2,000 words, or approximately six to eight pages double-spaced. Now, the criteria for this proposal are outlined in Chapter 8 of McKenney and Reeves, which we'll be reading later on in the semester but if you want to get a sneak preview of that, feel free to check out chapter eight so you know what will be expected. Now, I'll introduce this assignment in more detail in a few weeks, but I just wanted to let you know about it now. At this point, I want you to begin thinking about a practical and complex educational problem that you would like to address through your DBR proposal. And remember, design-based research is about education as it could be or even as it should be, so let your imaginations run wild. Okay, with that, I'll say goodbye for now. Have a great week, and I'll see you in Canvas.